today is a day that we commemorate and celebrate our fellow sentient species. And I'd like to take a moment to also celebrate and thank you all for being here and especially for your compassion and activism for our fellow animals. Um, animal advocates are really the, the best people in the world because they fight for the most vulnerable and abused and yet all they receive is a satisfaction of knowing that they're doing the best they can do and also the camaraderie that we share with each other. So I'm very glad to be here in such good company. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm here to speak about the largest category of harmfully exploited vertebrate animals. They suffer some of the worst abuses and yet they receive the least protection or concern, even from the animal protection, even from the animal rights community. And they are fishes. And for the same reasons and more that we care about other animals, we should care about fishes. Like people and other animals, fishes are inquisitive, they're perceptive, they're able to learn and pass knowledge from generation to generation. They recognize each other and they can differentiate human faces. They cooperate with each other and they cooperate with other species. They have amazing long-term memories. And there are fishes who are devoted parents. They're very vigilant and valiant in protecting their young. There are so many ways in which these animals are wonderful, admirable beings. And most importantly, they are sentient. Science has shown that fish suffer terror and pain. They are, tragically, they are tortured and killed in far greater numbers than any other category of animals. Um, an estimated one to three trillion fishes are killed every year. And the way they are killed is just un indescribably inhumane. They're hauled up from the deep in a way that causes them to be crushed from the weight of each other. Um, the, the change in pressure forces their eyes and their internal organs to pop out of their bodies. The survivors are left to suffocate or they're frozen alive or they're very commonly just cut up alive and while fu fully conscious. Um, the Animal Welfare Act and the Humane Slaughter Act, no, no, none of these laws that protect fishes, so pretty much anything and everything goes. In addition to the trillions of, an of fishes who are caught and killed, the way they're caught is so indiscriminate that they're also catching hundreds and thousands of dolphins and seals, sea lions, turtles, whales, birds. Um, additionally, many of these species compete with humans for fish, so they are intentionally caught and killed. And they need to eat food. They need to eat fish in order to survive. We don't and we shouldn't for their sake and for our own health. By eating seafood, we're depriving the other animals and people who genuinely need to eat fish in order to survive. We're depriving them of their sustenance. And as a result, we have sea lions starving to death off the west coast. We have hundreds of thousands of birds who are starving, other animals. Um, many of the fishes who are caught are used as feed for pigs and chickens and for farm fish and shrimp, farm shrimp. Um, human slavery is rampant in the fishing industry. So if you're eating seafood, it's very possible you're eating slave caught seafood, slave caught animals. And so if you care about any of these animals, we should also care about fishes. And of course we should care about all animals. Fishes are also a gateway species to animal abuse. Can you think of any other animals that society not only considers acceptable to kill, but admirable to torture and kill? Fishing is viewed as a wholesome, peaceful pastime, but in reality, it's a very violent activity. It's animal abuse, plain, cruel, and unjustifiable. Children are taken fishing as a way of introducing them to nature, but instead of learning to respect nature, they're being taught to exploit it and to abuse animals. It desensitizes them to animal suffering and it indoctrinates them into animal abuse. As long as fishes are treated as consumable animals to torture as we please, it will keep the status of all animals down. So please, for everyone's sake, Prioritize fish in your activism and advocacy. Familiarize yourself with the issues. We have fact sheets and other information on our table, which is down at the end, and also on our website. And I hope you'll visit our table and sign up for our newsletter. Um, we also update our Facebook page daily and our Twitter account and our Instagram account. Um, there's a book called Do Fish Feel Pain? It very eloquent lays out the very compelling evidence that fish are sentient. There's a brand new book just published this past month called What a Fish Knows. 
full of all kinds of fascinating information about fishes and their plight. Um, there's also a vegan seafood cookbook available on our table. Um, if you like seafood, it's not like you have to give it up. There are marvelous vegan versions of virtually every type of seafood imaginable. On our website, we have hundreds of recipes. Um, there's a wonderful store right here in New York City called Maywa that has any kind of seafood you can imagine, vegan version of it. Um, they even have vegetarian shark fin, so anything you have a hankering for, it's not like you have to do without to have the vegan versions, which are better for us, better for the other animals, and better for the environment. Um, so please speak up and speak out for fishes. Let people know that science has shown they are sentient, they do feel fear and pain, and let them know how admirable and abused they are, and that they are as deserving of respect and protection as any other species. Um, urge other organizations to increase their advocacy for fishes and be a friend for fishes. Thank you very much. <laughs>